In this video, my goal is to show you how to add fractions and kind of get um, a process down that you can follow each time in order to um, add positive and negative fractions. So let's go ahead and take a look first at the rules for adding fractions. So the first thing and the most important thing is that when you add and subtract fractions, you need a common denominator. And so when we look at this first example here, we see that we have a denominator of a four and a denominator of a five. And so we look for, sometimes they'll call it the least common denominator or the LCD, and that's the smallest number or the first number that four and five can go into. One strategy though that you can use is just take and multiply four by five and so we can get 20. Let's not worry about this uh, whole number out front right now, um, but in order to get four to 20, we have to multiply by five. So we take and we multiply the numerator by five and we get 15. And then over on this second number, we have five and if we're turning it into 20th, we have to take five and multiply it by four and to get to 20. So then we take and we multiply four by four and we get 16. So now that we've found a common denominator, um, step two is technically optional, but in order to um, avoid some um, kind of interesting areas, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to make them into improper fractions. So the way, the quick way we can do that is to multiply 2 times 20 and we get 40 and then we add 15. And so 40 plus 15 is 55. So we have a negative 55 twentieths plus 20 times 5 is 100 and 100 plus 16 is 100 16 twentieths. And now what we can do, now that we are here, um, apply the addition rules. So if we have the same sign, we find the sum. If we have a different sign, we find the difference. And in this case, we have a negative and a positive. So we are going to find the difference. So we always want to take the bigger number and subtract the smaller number from it. So six minus five is one. And we have to borrow, which then becomes 11, which then becomes uh, 6. And since the uh, positive number is bigger, um, then we have a uh, positive 61. Now, I'm okay with, with leaving this. This is it reduced down as much as possible because um, there are no factors uh, that can go into 61 um, and 20. Uh, some people say they like to have it... Um, converted into um, a mixed number, which is fine. So we could take 61 divided by 20. 20 goes into 61 three times with a remainder of one, so it'd be three, and your remainder over 20. So either way uh, is an acceptable uh, solution. So let's go ahead and apply these similar rules now to this next problem. So we, let's start out. We need to get a common denominator. Uh, the first number that 7 and 8 can actually go into at the same time is 56, which is just 7 times 8. So we have 56 here. We have to multiply uh, 7 by 8 to get to 56. So we have to multiply 8 by 5 to get our numerator, which is 40. And this negative right here uh, is out front. We can just float it to the top. It's either the top or the bottom that's negative. So. Um, then we have plus, um, we have um, 1, negative 1, and we need to get 56, so we multiply by 7, and multiply by 7, so you get 21. Now our next step is that we need to get this negative 1 and 21 56 into an improper fraction. We don't have to worry about this first one because uh, it's already in a fraction form, so we just leave it. Okay, so then we say 56 times one is 56, plus 21 is 87 over 56, and then this is negative, so again, we'll just put it on the top. Now we look here and we say, okay, um, we're gonna apply our addition rule since we're in addition. Um, we have the same sign this time, so we need to find the sum, or we need to add them together. So we say 40, plus 87 is 127. So we have 
And since they're both negative, our solution is going to be negative. And so we get 127 fifty-sixths, which again, we can leave it as that. All right, let's take a look at one more example here. And so we have a negative three and one third plus a negative two and four ninths. So we need to get a common denominator. Nine and three can actually go into nine. Let's say we didn't see that, we could go into 27 or some bigger number. But um, since we see that nine can go into nine and three can go into nine, let's just turn these into ninths. So again, we have to multiply it three by three to get nine. So we get negative three and three ninths plus negative two and multiply by one multiply by one so it, do, it doesn't change, it's the exact same. Next, I want to uh, convert these into improper fractions. We can multiply and then add. So nine times three is 27, uh, plus three is 30. And then we'll put the negative on the top. Plus uh, nine times two is 18, uh, plus four is 22. Again, it's negative over nine, negative 52 over nine. Uh, looks like that's all we can do with it. Um, we can convert it however if we want. So hopefully this was helpful for you in, in terms of uh, either remembering uh, how to add fractions or maybe it was uh, completely new to you. If you have any questions, you can post them on the bottom of the video. And thanks for watching.